Uh, this one goes out to anyone who likes really full tracks with loads of layers and loads of synths and loads of percussion and loads of guitars and everything, but they want everything to have plenty of space. So a uh, common problem with my tracks is I start with drums quite a lot of the time and that's great. You start with a nice drum groove and then you layer on top. So bass, guitar, or synth bass or whatever, obviously the vocals in there normally. And then by the time a track is at mixing stage, I might have added like way more stuff. I normally like to layer on quite a few synths, quite a few different bits of texture, vocal effects, reverbs, etc. Um, and so by the time it gets to the mixing stage, I'm then often trying to find space for everything. And on and this particular track, I had the same problem. I've realised that there's not enough space for everything. The way to, one way to get around this, and I found that I do this regularly now because it's sort of part of my workflow, is to make the whole session in mono, turn the volume down on my interface, and then just sit back and listen really quietly. And that way, because bass is always in mono, you can really hear how much space it's taking up. And nine times out of 10, the issue is there's too much kick drum because at the beginning there was loads of space for the kick drum, but now the kick drum is still there squashing everything else out of the way. So just sit back, turn it down, go into mono, and then start making some notes about what you can hear, what you need to change. Um, and then I've come back to my mix, put it back in stereo, and then I've got my kick drum track. I'm using Soft Tube's Transient Shaper plugin to re reduce the sustain. And then I'm using a channel strip plugin by Softube, which is like a Neve uh, emulation. And then I'm cutting 45 hertz using the low cut, bringing down 60 hertz by 1.5 dB. And I'm boosting 4.2 K because that's where the attack and the the like, the k, the snap of a kick is, and that helps it cut through the mix without needing to be loud. So you can turn the low frequencies down and then and boost the highs and it still feels like it's a very present kick but it's taken up a lot less space so yeah that's a kind of really simple little couple of moves you can make and suddenly oh my god the track just feels so much more spacious and open everything just feels like it can breathe and i'm, I'm like put it back in mono and it sounds balanced and nothing's too dominant so just give it a try let me know what you think let me know if you've got any other little hacks hacks like that that you like to use